Andy Vaughn. And I'm Sarah. And we're MomsLA.com. And we are coming to you from the Mom Fair today. Yes, live from Mom <laughs> Fair. So we had a really good post this week on Moms LA. Yeah. Um, one that we had that was very interesting was it was about Safe Sleep for Baby campaign. And you were going to find this shocking. I found it shocking. Once every, I'm sorry, every five days a baby suffocates Ooh. from unsafe sleep, sleep practices. That's so sad. Oh my God, it's the leading cause of death for babies under one year of age. Mm, Can you horrifying. imagine? It's horrible. It's really sad. So um, the post gives you know some information and then also how to practice safe sleep habits with your baby. Um, and then we also had um, an excellent uh, guest post about the uh, Surefire Conference for Girls. Cool. I know. I really wanted to take my niece to this, but she's a little bit too young. You need to be in high school. Oh, okay. Um, but it's an empowerment conference for girls, and it answers all of these really interesting questions about um, and gives advice about self-esteem, um, you know, and how to be in this world today. So it sounds great. And if you um, if you go to the post and you want to go to this conference, you can get a free adult ticket with your child's ticket. Uh, so then we have our uh, ongoing series, Is It Worth a Babysitter? And I got to see a screening of Gravity, and I will tell you it is worth a babysitter and worth every penny to go and see it. It's an amazing movie. Go check out the review and then the video. Oh, I went to Disneyland. Okay, I love Disneyland. I don't care what anyone says. I love it. Um, <laughs> So we went to the Mickey's Trick or Treat or the Halloween Time Trick or Treat Party. It's called Mickey's Halloween Party. Mickey's Halloween Party. That's what I thought. But the hashtag was Halloween Time. Um, I went to Mickey's Halloween Party and it was really, really fun. And I took my kids, of course. I didn't go by myself. I took my kids and my husband and we had a wonderful time. So I am once again training for something. Um, I'm training for the Nike Half Marathon and I'm so excited about it. So the Nike Women's Half Marathon is amazing. I did it one of the first years that they had it. And um, it's all women, which is a totally different thing when you're doing, you know, when you're doing these kind of races to have a women's marathon and half marathon. I kind of want to do the marathon. That's why I said that. I might oh. actually just keep oh running. Oh my goodness. We'll no, 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 no. But at the end, you get a Tiffany necklace. <laughs> and it has like, it's like special for everyone that you do. So if you were to do it every year, you'd get a different one. And it says like that you've done a half marathon or a marathon. It's really cool. Okay. I still have the one. I mean, it's been years and years and years, but I so still wear it. Could I just go to Tiffany and buy myself a necklace and then not run a marathon? It doesn't <laughs> say that you did it. I it's not for real. I'm not lying about doing it. It's I not just for don't real if you don't have a t-shirt. Oh. And if you don't. Oh, and the t-shirt. Nike t-shirts for races. Very good. Very okay. nice. Okay. Yeah. We've had a big week in education in the state of California. The governor has signed the bill. It's called AB 484. And who cares? Why do we care about that number? We don't. All we care about is the fact that there will be no more standardized testing. The old standardized tests are gone. Bye bye All done. No more in California. It is done. It's law. So uh, it's all new. It's going to be new stuff. You've got to read right. about new. it in the post. So there will, be, there will be testing. Not next year. Not next there year. There will be testing for your kids eventually. eventually. Yes. But. Not this year and not this kind. Um, so our pick of the week for the weekend is, I'm going to get this wrong, the Let's get it right. Skirball Glo it has having the Global Cardboard Challenge. So it's at the Skirball Cultural Center. Yeah, and so you, do you know the rest of it? No. Oh. I'm saying I'm helping <laughs> well, I you get you it right. I no, I'm saying what, it's at the, and then. People know the Skirball is the Skirball Cultural Okay. So anyway, so it's a global uh, cardboard challenge and you make things out of cardboard. Sounds fun. It sounds totally fun. It's $10. Wendy did our pick of the week, Wendy Kinnar, and she also had an education post about how important it is to donate yeah. um, to your public schools. And I think that like some people, I know that some people think that they shouldn't have to donate to public right. schools if their kid goes to public school because they We've already uh, paid you for pay taxes, it with our taxes. But, well, as they say, so the saying is, a public education is free. A great education is not free. Exactly. And you're going to have to pay for it because yeah. the state of public education in California and the country, is, well, in many places, but especially California, is just dreadful. The amount yeah. of money that comes to the classrooms, you you, you are going to have to end up fundraising one way or another. Um, and if you don't, I mean, if you're thinking, oh, I shouldn't have to pay it, but think about a private school, how much that's going to cost. It's a fraction. The donation you make in public school is a fraction of what you pay in private it's true. And public schools for everyone. Okay, let's stop. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us here at the Mom Fair, and we will see you next time. <laughs>